What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Moltman episode. Today we are going to do a little bit more squirrel hunting. Y'all seem to love the last squirrel hunting video, so I figured we'd come out here. And I want to put some squirrels in my freezer. So we're at the Parsons Whitetail River Ranch and uh, Trey, we got a side in the 22-250 as well. We actually been hunting all morning on the electric bikes after all dad and they busted us. And we didn't make it happen, we are going to do it with the air gun, but we're going to try to go back out for them later. But we are going after squirrels now, we're going to go down to the river. I got uh, Richard's 410 and Trey has a 22, so we're going to head down to the river. Hopefully get some squirrels put in the freezer and uh, do another recipe for you guys. Oh, you got him. He's done. Come on, buddy. Yeah. One down, about 10 to go. All right, well, we got one down, but we weren't even starting yet. I just came to start the airboat up, make sure it's doing good. But we got a big old boy, and uh, we're gonna make up a little stringer. Trey's gonna side in at 22, and then we're gonna walk. We got like a mile of river to walk, so should be able to get into some more squirrels. Get him. You're missing him. Dude, there's like 10. some more. Do you see all the hair fly off of them? Yeah. Get him again. Got him that time. Shoo! You missed him hard that first time. I'm trying to go for a headshot. Uh -oh. I see all this spilled out. Well, we took a little break. Oh, dude, there's a bunch of carp. There's a big one. We took a break from squirrel hunting and we are down at the river. It's so freaking awesome down here. What is that? That's like gotta be a beaver or an otter. Yeah. Or shad. Um, so we're gonna come down here, try to shoot a carp or something off of this dock. He went under the dock. He's going right there, right there. Jumbo, dude. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, I went right over him. Jumbo. Oh, dude, they're everywhere. Oh. Oh, barely missed him again. Dude, there's a bunch down there. They're just deep. Ooh, look at that big boy. You see that one? Yeah. You I think I can, can hit that far? Go for it. Oh, right next to him. <laughs> it's so deep though. Well, I can't hit anything from up here. And I think I scared all the fish away, so. We're gonna see if we can't go find a few more squirrels. And it's dove season, so if we see any dove, we're gonna pop them with the 410. Add to the pile from uh, this past dove season. 
That's a far shot. That was like a, he's still there. He's, he's slowly, that's an old turtle. Why, because he's slow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we are done. We ended up with three. We should have ended up with like at least 10, but we didn't. So I'm gonna clean these guys. If you haven't watched the last video, um, I'm gonna show you how I clean squirrels. What I do, um, I take my knife, you pull that tail back and you go right, right where the tail, like the base of the tail comes in. Mm -hmm. Are you talking? <laughs> <laughs> to get serious this blade's pretty dull i got extra blades it's all right well yeah. we're gonna hope that this one's not as bad as the last one so you want to come down at the base of the tail cut in sometimes you can just pop that tail sometimes you have to cut it just like that then you want to try to get some skin working off of either side so it has a little bit of grip to it. But we may let these sit a little long. Step on that tail, pull up. That's one side of it. Grab the last little piece on this side. Pull it down the legs. Just like that. And that is a clean squirrel. We'll take the uh, all the quarters off of it. And then, actually I think I'm gonna cook one whole because last time I did squirrel and gravy. And I'm gonna try one on the Traeger. I've never smoked a squirrel on the Traeger. So um, we'll put it in a little bit of brine and then throw it on the Traeger tonight. So I'll see you guys at the house and we'll cook up some squirrel. Hey, boo -boo. Well, it's just me and little man today. <laughs> He's laughing. He's ready to eat. I'm warming his milk up right now, but I got home and brined. Put this squirrel in a brine. It is the same exact brine that I did on the little pork butt um, that I did not too long ago. It's a uh, little bit of vinegar, water, brown sugar, um, salt, pepper, garlic, and paprika or a little bit of red pepper flakes so i have the traeger fired up 175 i'm gonna go low and slow because i know how tough these critters get and um i think the only way to do it is just go super low and super slow so i'm gonna go slap this guy on the traeger bless you and uh probably give it a good i don't know i'm hoping about two three hours but we'll see so we'll put it on and i'll see when it's done A couple hours, see what she looks like. All right, our squirrel is done. So I actually cooked it for about two and a half hours at 175, and we'll see if it's tender or not. It feels pretty tender, but this was a male too. And last time me and Hayden cooked them, um, we had I think we had two males and a female, and you could definitely actually I think it was two females and a male, and you could tell the difference 100% between the uh, tenderness of the two. So we'll take a piece off this back leg and, and see how it tastes. He's over there playing on his bouncy chair. 
So, brine, squirrel, smoked on the Traeger. See if it's better than the squirrel and gravy. It is definitely way more tender than I thought it would be. I thought smoking it may not be enough time um, to really break down that meat and make it tender, but that is actually very tender. Let's try to break off one of these. That's actually very, very... <laughs> He's going crazy over there. Alright. Let's finish this with little man. Um, it is actually very tender. <sighs> Not chewy at all. It's moist. It's juicy. I am very, very surprised at how tender that is. That is delicious. Um, what do you think? What do you think? I think compared, he doesn't know what to think about the mic. I think compared to uh, squirrel and gravy, the squirrel and gravy has definitely way more flavor. Um, but this is just like, it's actually delicious. I'll give it like an eight two for smoked squirrel. I was for sure, I for sure thought that it was gonna be um, pretty tough, but it wasn't at all. So. If y'all have any other squirrel recipes or you want to see me go squirrel hunt again, leave it in the comments. Drop a thumbs up. Um, hope y'all are having a great holiday. Hope y'all get some time off of work. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of hunting. So stay tuned. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.